What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty NDV10. Um, got a super big card for my uh, collection in general, but um, especially for my Rube Waddell um, collection. Uh, Rube Waddell, fascinating character. Um, if you don't know much about him, just you know, Google some uh, videos or uh, just go head on over to YouTube, type in Rube Waddell. Got some absolutely uh, fascinating stories and just a crazy wild tragic life um he is a, a hall of famer he is a member of the baseball hall of fame um yeah just a crazy life story i highly recommend if you if you don't know much about him or even if you do you think you do um just head on over to youtube and and just you know find a few videos to watch um his life literally could have been a shakespeare tragedy so Enough about that. Um, I love the Rube Waddell portrait in the T206 set. Um, with the latest edition, I have five. Uh, this is a Sweet Capital 150-25. Incredible dark blue on this card. Somewhat of a tough back with that 150-25. Uh, this is the most common Rube Waddell back that I have, but it's my highest graded. It's a four. Another incredibly dark example of that card, 150 Factory 30. Uh, this may be um, still probably my favorite Rube Waddell card. Um, lovely dark blue there. But uh, this one is uh, Sovereign 150 back. Probably saw that one of my recent SGC return videos. Uh, then we've got... Stand up over there. Then we've got the Sovereign 350. Got this card in a three. And then the latest edition um, and the most rare back. Well, technically, technically speaking, the Sovereign 150 has a lower pop uh, than this card I'm about to show. But uh, in general, this card would probably still bring more at auction. It is a... Hindu back, Rue Baudel. It is a PSA one and a half. Hindu back, super rare combo. Absolutely love it. I pulled off a trade to get this deal done. Um, a card that I did not really ever have plans of letting go. It was another tough off back of a Hall of Famer. But, uh, when this offer came through, I could not pass it up. So as you can see there, just a little bit of uh, color difference in the blues. Just kind of adds to it. But um, yeah, that is it, guys. I'll keep it short today. Uh, here's some other. I'll show some other Rube since that kind of a short video. Uh, this is the uh, 1910 to 1911 Sporting Life. Uh, these uh, were part of a magazine redemption. There is a blue back and a black back copy of this card. So Sporting Life, M116s. Uh, this card very closely resembles the Carl Horner photo that all of the portraits uh, were used from. This is a very tough E91A Rube Waddell. And the, all the players in the A series, like I've mentioned in the past, uh, their photos actually look like them. When you get into the uh, later series, they rehashed some uh, photos with different players. This is a really good card. Um, throwing Sovereign 350. And we've got the very tough 150 Sovereign. Just a very beautiful uh, Piedmont 150. Absolute stunner. This card was uh, had a misspelling in his name. And this is probably the prettiest Hall of Fame action pose, in my opinion. I'm a little biased, but hard to beat that one. Find me one that looks better. Thank you, Max. E93 Rube. Just crazy looking colors there. This would be a fun little set to build. 30 cards. And then we got the Colgan's Chips. 
kind of a cool piece. St. Louis. That's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching again. Big pickup. I am in love with it. But that's it, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.